everyone, as promised, an update, uh, a little tour around my little rolling home, my pink palace. My rolling home is 15 feet long, it's a 1968 Viscount. I've pretty much left all the internal cabinets exactly as they were when it was made, with just the addition of a bit of pinkifying. A lot of that was done myself. I sewed all these curtains. They were actually full length curtains from Walmart and I just cut them down and I've actually sewn, they're sort of light blocking, but I've actually double backed them. So they're twice as light blocking because I like to sleep in in the morning. Pixie has her little bed so that she's up close next to me. Uh, Anne, Frank, Anne Frank's diary was one of the first really ideas that I got to start recording all my travels and journeys when I read that diary. I was actually the same age, I was 13, the same age she had been when she was stuck in the attic in Amsterdam and I was living in Amsterdam too and I actually went to visit her house and yeah that so inspired me. I started keeping little travel journals and everything so this is one of her sayings. Think of all the beauty left around you and be happy. Blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures. This one up here says, this is my happy place. I've got a little shelf with my collection of white rabbits because you should always follow the white rabbit and my princess Jasmine, which was a present from Carolyn. Uh, fake cupcakes that I've actually craft glued into a cake stand so I don't have to worry about packing them all up. Same with all these little things, they're all blue tacked or glued down into place and my flying birds because I've always had a thing about flying birds so so this dinette seat actually folds down to make another double sized bed so when my kids come to stay with me I make that bed up there at the moment those two boxes are my extra stocking of food pantry wise because of coronavirus um, I basically stocked up on most of my essentials and underneath here is where I keep all the things for my uh, setup for display. I've got white picket fence, uh, pink flamingo mats that go under the awning and under this side is pink flamingos for the garden. Uh, so they don't get opened up very often. I'm not doing a lot of display stuff. I always have crystals hanging in my windows because I love it when the sun comes through and makes rainbows everywhere. I've also got a lot of little uh, fairy lights that run off batteries like those little pink flamingo ones up here and this is another gift from my friend Alana who gave it to me for Christmas before I had painted the outside of this caravan and we were just couldn't decide what colors to do and as soon as I saw that I knew that was the colors except I flipped it the other way I put the green on the bottom the pink stripe and the white on the top just a normal little bar fridge I the old three-way gas 12 volt fridge didn't work at all when I bought it and up here I just have my toiletries and beauty products and things like that a moisturizer toothbrush pixies water bowl my water bottle. Up in the top cupboard here is plates and cups. More plates. And in this cupboard I have my supplements, makeup, just more kind of hair and beauty products and things like that. Simple things. Um, this cupboard up above the bed here. Do you like my LED lights? I put them in as well. They change colors, but of course I have them set to pink. My girls rules poster. The main rule is the first one. No boys allowed. Sorry boys. These cupboards all along here have got my clothes, t-shirts. Uh, this one's got sheets and pillow slips and my hats and things. This is my winter side winter clothing and jumpers and things sweaters and stuff jeans and t-shirts pajamas and petticoats and this cupboard just 
my um, pajamas and things that I'm recycling that I might have worn once or twice I could wear them again. I kept the original drawers because this was actually originally two single beds, one down each side of this drawer. But I just decided to put wood across the middle and turn it and got myself a proper double size pillow top in a spring mattress. So important. And this little cupboard here. I have hair products, medicines, things like that. I always keep this little photo of myself when I was seven years old because I did a program years ago called Emotional Fitness with Cynthia Morton and it was all about basically recovering from emotional trauma and she always encouraged us to bring in a photo of ourselves when we were still young and innocent so that every time you say something to yourself like oh I'm so stupid or you know you put yourself down and berate yourself you should look at that photo of yourself when you were still happy and young and innocent and think would I say that to that little girl probably not that's probably why, you know, I've had some pretty disparaging comments made from previous videos with previous caravans online about, you know, who does this woman think she is, you know, she's acting like she's five years old, not 50, um, and yep, sorry guys, but I happily embrace my inner child. These are more string lights that run by batteries, so, and these little roses up here also run by batteries so that if I am off-grid camping I still have plenty of lights so I just put a little divider here between the bedroom area so it kind of looks I don't know kind of like having a four poster bed really I kind of like it in the doorway here is all the places that I have traveled to since I've been on this particular trip and there's room for more because I haven't done the top end yet. That's that's what I'm planning next will be to go up the top end and go and see Uluru and the Kimberleys in Western Australia and places like that. So that's that's my next plan. Where I do my cooking is actually hidden away under this cabinet here. You can slide this all the way across. There we go, slides over and then this section comes down and back in the day this actually had a gas burner in it originally but I don't use gas at all when I'm camping, I've completely just connected the gas, I have no gas bottles, um, I've seen a caravan burn to the ground in five minutes flat when the gas was left on so I have a phobia of gas from when I was quite young and I saw a gas stove explode in my mum's face. That wasn't very much fun either. So I've opted to just have a tiny little microwave for basically heating up my leftovers. And under over here, sits on top like that. I have a little two burner electric so I can boil my rice and stir fry my veggies and make pasta and I live pretty simply. And then that all slides away. And there's a little tiny clip on the side here. Can you see the clip? And that's how I lock it into place. Underneath the cooking area is where I have pots and pans and my Nutribullet, rubbish bin, trash as you call it in America, dry dog food, disposable rubber gloves. And then behind here, I've got another basket with all my laundry products. Uh, and wipes and floor wipes. I use floor wipes to clean the floor. Obviously my floor, I, I put in new flooring. The old original lino was, um, had asbestos in it and it was really dirty and gross. So this is brand new flooring. It's really easy to keep clean and I love it. So I just use those wipes to clean that. And the laundry detergent I buy, as well as the dishwashing detergent, and the general cleansing stuff that I mix with water and put in a water bottle like that to just make a surface spray. They are all um, natural products so when I'm just running onto the ground, which at the moment most places don't mind you doing, it's not going to kill the grass or anything. And on this side I have a toaster, my kettle and down in this container 
fly spray, obviously, and a Glamper's Essential Real Wine Glasses. Not that I've been drinking much wine lately. I've kind of been really good. I had, I don't know why, but I just, I used to enjoy a glass of wine every now and then, but lately I've been reacting really badly to it, so I've kind of had to stop that. Uh, down under here, under there, you can't quite see, but I have my fold-out table and chairs, my bicycle helmet, pink hug boots, and in this basket here I have my big pot, which I use for when I'm making big vegetable soups, and this awesome thing, I don't know if you've heard about these, it's called a solo stove. So cool, I'll show you. So this is the solo stove. I ordered this off Amazon after watching another uh, full-time vanner who actually lived in a like a van van, not a caravan trailer. Um, he was using one and I thought that is what I need. So it's this is actually the solo stove campfire, which is the biggest one they make. But as you can see, still tiny enough to fit in a saucepan under the bed, which is great. So how it works is in here you just put small twigs and leaves, dried leaves, things like that. Um, and you can start a fire really easily because the air flows through these holes here. And, and the heat circulates all around up here as well. And then you put your pot on top of that and you can cook anything. So that's how I can cook if I don't have electricity, obviously, and my little two burner electric stove and microwave wouldn't work in those cases. And like I said, what I usually do if I'm not going to have electricity is I will freeze all those ice packs because I do have a small freezer in my fridge. I freeze all those ice packs and then I just disperse them. Yeah, there's more ice packs up there. I've got a stash of them everywhere. So I will sort of disperse them around the fridge and keep the fridge closed. It turns it basically into an ice box. Uh, and I've found even when I was driving through the desert in like 40 degrees, which is like 100 something degrees Fahrenheit, I had absolutely no problems. Things would, those ice packs would still be frozen when I pulled in and up to two days later the fridge was still keeping quite nicely and cold so that was pretty good. The good thing about my little solo stove is it will also act as a warming fire campfire when I'm camping without power as well. Now there's cupboards underneath here that go all the way along you can see there's little things to open them up this one here has all my shoes and my boots and things like that and that side as long as I pull these things out I can still open those cupboards and in that side I have believe it or not an ironing board and an iron and a vacuum cleaner because yes I'm a good little housewife so I like to keep my house clean and tidy and especially with the dog I need to vacuum quite a lot and if you see what's inside my wardrobe you'll understand why I need an iron because I do love my pretty dresses and I've got more cardigans, jackets, coats, a couple more shoes and those baskets underneath have underwear and socks and swimmers and all that kind of stuff, anything like that that I need. So yeah, if I'm dressing up in my pretty dresses and I want an eye on them, I can do that, but just pretty casual today. So yeah, that's pretty much the tour of the house. Uh, what else is there? Oh. Down the bottom has got tools. I've got cordless drills and cordless screwdrivers, a tin full of various screws and things, um, leftover paint, putty, you name it, ropes, um, hacksaw, my dustpan and brush, spray paints for when I'm painting things, silicon in bags, glue, gloves. I am a real Girl Scout kind of camper glamper girl because I have pretty much everything you could possibly need for almost anything to the point where a lot of people will come and 
say to me when I'm camping like oh Lisa have you got this or Lisa have you got that because they know that I'll probably have just about everything so yeah that's kind of how I roll and up here I have more nice glasses my flashing shoes a box full of crazy wigs and pink things and oh in there is actually a crown and my hats and a tiara I should say not a crown a tiara because you know I do like to dress up and in this cupboard is all my towels and that's my toiletries bag with my shampoo conditioner and soap and razors and everything that I take to have a shower so there's my kids things and yeah everything this makes me feel pretty happy and as you can see more inspirational things dream it wish it do it this is my tv essentially this is how i watch tv i've downloaded all the apps for all the tv stations and i've also got netflix on my phone um i only have a iphone 7 plus so it's got a fairly big screen and i can basically prop it up on that little stand there with the swivel so i can adjust it depending on if i'm lying down or sitting up and and yeah i lie here and i quite happily watch tv as long as i've got my glasses on i can see uh, and yeah that's that's my little tiny house so hope you enjoyed the tour as much as i enjoy living in it